Hey guys, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today I've got an exciting coffee cat recipe for you today. I've done it before, I've got another video on it, but we're gonna do it again since I made that Asian salad yesterday and we're saving it for today. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make those again. So I'm gonna do a, another video on the P.F. Chang's lettuce wraps. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad you're here. Please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss anything. I do farming videos, mostly cooking videos, some day in the life, some grocery hauls, just some of your normal stuff. But uh, I would love to have you part of my YouTube family and give me a thumbs up on this video. I appreciate any interaction you can give me and leave me a comment. So stay tuned. We're going to make P.F. Chang's lettuce wrap. Okay guys, so I know on my last video the camera was flipped, so hopefully I fixed it, but we'll see. Um, I'm getting ready to kind of clean my kitchen, getting ready to make the lettuce wraps, but I had to stop off for a snack that one of you guys sent me. Um, you sent me this in a huge box of gifts for my entire family. You thought of everybody in the family. This person wanted to remain anonymous and you know who you are and um, I just wanted to tell you how amazing and wonderful that box was I was actually out of town and I had gone by the post office on Sunday so there's no clerks there so I checked my post office box and there was a form that said if you don't get this package we're gonna send it back and I'm like oh no there's nobody here and I'm going out of town so I called my daughter told her where my post office box key was so go by the post office and so she got it so she called me she says this box is huge and so um i said we'll open it and so she opened it and went through it and and i had her on the phone it was the night we were at the lake lure restaurant and so i'm on the phone with her actually i'm facetiming her well not facetiming message video chatting whatever and i'm and she's showing me and i'm going I'm making all these noises and I know the people in the restaurants like what in the world but um there's a t-shirt in there and I cannot wait to wear it for you guys and show it to you but it says I've got dibs on the pasture <laughs> I love it so um uh, I'm gonna say your first name Bindi thank you so much and um I love it and the fact that you thought of everybody in the family you know the a mama's heart that means the world but I'm enjoying some time back in my childhood real quick eat me some Cracker Jacks so let me get the kitchen cleaned up get my ingredients out and we'll get started on these P.F. Chang lettuce wraps okay guys I'm glad you're back I have been I don't know I'm trying a different angle and I'm getting the sunlight coming in and not sure what you guys can see so let me back you up a little bit. We're just testing today. We're just testing things out today. Can you get my head? No. Okay. So anyway, let me tilt it up just a little bit. Forgive me. Y'all wanted to see me and what I'm doing. Y'all have asked that. Let's try there. Anyway looks pretty good not bad okay I have chopped up a couple of green onions this will be just for the garnish um, and I'm making this dish ahead of time um, because I just I've got so much going on tonight I'm wanting to make a molten lava cake I'm wanting to make some really cool good stuff so I want to get as much done ahead of time salads made made it yesterday put it together this morning and so it's just getting all that good flavor. So these are ready to go on top. Now I ordered this from Pamper Chef and I haven't used it yet. So the recipe calls for half a cup of, keep in mind I'm doubling everything. So I'll link down below the correct um, 
recipe. I'm doubling things, so but look down below for the right recipe. Calls for water chestnuts. I am not a big water chestnut fan, usually. However, I think this dish does need a few. So, um, I'm going to go in there with a can of, you can buy chopped, but the store didn't have any. So, I thought we'll try out my new little chopper. It may or may not work. If it don't work, I'll just put it on the cutting board and we'll cut with a knife. Pretty good. Pretty good. That was actually really good. Did really good. There's a few big pieces, but that's okay. That's all right. That's all right, I'm okay. It ain't nothing but another day. Okay guys, I'll be right back when we get ready to start the chicken. Okay. Okay guys, um, I wanted to go over the ingredients you're gonna need because not everything is stuff you normally have in here. So I wanted to be sure I, I went over it with you first. You're gonna need some ground chicken. Now the recipe below will say one pound. Uh, I'm doubling, remember. You're gonna need the water chestnuts that I just chopped up. You're gonna need uh, oyster sauce, poison sauce, rice vinegar, soy sauce, some ginger, and you can use real, like ginger paste, or I use, I just use the um, powdered spice, some garlic, some chili paste, the green onions I chopped, and an onion. Now I sliced up, chopped up one onion. I've got some olive oil in my frying pan. I'm gonna go ahead and get these onions sauteing a little bit. Okay guys, I'm gonna get those sauteing up just a little bit, then we'll add the chicken and I'll bring you back and I'll meet you over at the stove. All right, I've just gotten a good start on the onions. I don't have to get them too far because they're going to continue to cook. I also brought all my ingredients over here beside me. And we're going to go in with the ground chicken. And I have my meat chopper, but I'm just going to use this. I love these spoons. They work great. My chicken was completely thawed. So I'm just gonna brown this up. And once I get it good and browned and chopped up, it actually doesn't brown. It's gonna kind of look white. Uh, but just as soon as I get that done, I'll bring you guys back for the next steps. Okay guys, I've got it broken up and cooked um, well enough. And you wanna be sure you have it broke up. You don't want any big chunks, so if you, find any big chunks, go ahead and break them up. I'm going to go ahead and add in my water chestnuts just so they can soften a little bit. I'm not, a, I mean, you want the crunch from them, but I'm going to go ahead and add them now. I don't usually add them till the end, but that's okay. I'm also going to go ahead and add, I'm going to turn my burner down just a little bit. I'm going to add in two tablespoons, and I do heaping, of garlic. tablespoons of garlic. Let's see, I'm going to need this tablespoon again. So let's go ahead and do a half a cup of hoisin. Where's my hoisin sauce? We're going to do half a cup. This is a fourth of a cup measure, and so there's a fourth. There's a half a cup. I've got me a little scraper here to scrape out with. All right. Now let's go ahead and add in a fourth of a cup of the oyster sauce. Um, it actually calls for tablespoons, so I doubled the tablespoons, and the way it, it came out to four tablespoons, and that equals a fourth of a cup. So. It's just easier to do it that way. Oh my goodness, it smells 
heavenly already. Okay, so we're also going to need soy sauce, same amount, four tablespoons or a fourth of a cup. I didn't take my thing out, my little, the little, you know, whatever that thing's called. And I'm going in with plenty of soy. <laughs> All right, now. Oh my goodness, y'all. Looks like heaven already. I'm going to go in with two tablespoons of rice vinegar. One, two. Okay. I'm going to just do a few dashes of ginger. There we go. And we're going to do one teaspoon. Um, I don't have my teaspoon measure, so let's do... And it actually calls for more of this chili paste, but um, I'm cutting back just because y'all know Mr. Bryant <laughs> doesn't like spicy. All right. Now, you can always add more of these sauces. Oh, it smells so good in here. Now I'm going to let this cook and simmer down and kind of thicken up a little bit and reduce down. Let the liquid reduce down. Be sure I got everything down in there. And let's just check and make sure I haven't missed anything. I did the garlic, the onion, the chicken, the hoisin, the oyster, the soy, the rice, vinegar, the ginger, the chili paste, and the water chestnuts. They went in. So we are good. We're just going to let this cook down for a little bit. And once it cooks down for just a few minutes, you just want it to this liquid to reduce out just a little bit. But then you want to give it a taste and see if you need to add any more flavor. And you just do that to whatever you think. And then I'm not going to let it reduce probably as much as I normally would because I'm making this ahead of time. So when I heat it back up, I'm going to want it to have some juices in it. But we're going to let this um, cook down for just a little bit, and I'll bring you back when it's ready. I'll bring, I really will bring you back when we get ready to eat. Okay, guys, here is the Asian salad that we made the other night or the other day. Here is the P.F. Chang's chicken, and Brian's going to show us how to eat it. He's already had one. Okay, I cheated. I had one, okay? Here is a, another one, so anyway. Just take the lettuce, however it comes off the head, fill it up with all that goodness right there, however you wanna wrap it or roll it, okay? Um, you can make some toppings to go with this as well. Oh yeah, I had the green onions, I didn't bring those in. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite, favorite meals right here. Is it good? It is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Does it taste better or at least just like P.F. Chang's? Just as good for a tenth of the price. That's right. That's this, right. This is a must make right here. And uh, we should have plenty of leftovers to have some good lunches mm -hmm. over the next day or so. So There's Bryant's fried rice. I will link that video down below. Um, he's done that twice. I've got two videos of him doing fried rice. And... Um, I pulled my tablecloth back down there because <laughs> Judah, as you can see, is going to make a mess. So anyway, This is a got to make. Yep. Got to make. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the P.F. Chang's copycat uh, lettuce wraps. And thank you for joining the Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all.